Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Coliseum, and in this episode we're going to be progressing even farther into the Shadow Pokemon Lab. And we're going to be continually ambushed by trainers that do not have Shadow Pokemon, but I'm going to show a couple of these battles. Considering the fact that I didn't show any of them, well, there'd be really no content in this episode. <laughs> so let's start off with against a Golbat and a Mawile. I've never even seen that Pokemon ever. I've, in fact, I think, like, like in all seriousness... Two most forgettable Pokemon ever. Mawile and Stinkin. Actually, no, just Mawile, Mawile and Sableye. I don't know what it is about those two Pokemon. But nobody knows, like, just nobody's like, oh my gosh. And how the heck did Bamfros have a white herb? That's really weird. I really don't recall giving that to him, but okay. And I'm not actually 100% certain if either Thunder... Yeah, it was Thunder. That would have been uh, okay to use on Mawile. But hey, it's still, like... <laughs> barely any health left and Golbat's gonna go down. So yeah, I'm a little bit off. I don't really understand steel types totally. Actually, I think um, if I used Thunderbolt on it, it would have been not very effective also, so I guess that turn really didn't matter at all. And in this episode, guys, we're actually beginning to get, um, hmm, I know for a fact we're gonna get the last Johto starter. I know that for sure. I'm making that like a, like a thing. Like a, like a, like what do you, how do you say it? How do you say I want to make that a benchmark for this episode? And gosh darn it, I'm gonna get that. We're also gonna get, um, let's see. I need to check the snag list, but we're gonna get the remainder of Poke Shadow Pokemon that we're missing that we can get at this point. Considering to get all the last Shadow Pokemon and actually 100% the game, we're actually gonna have to do some hardcore grinding, and I can't necessarily do that right now with my considering amount of time, so. We're just gonna have to see how that goes. And we're just tearing through this chick stinking Pokemon. Gosh, look at this. See if I were gaining like no EXP from it. And uh you, you can you can do whatever, it doesn't really matter. It's gonna be a one hit kill. Unless Pupitar is dark. No, it's not, okay. <laughs> uh I think it I think it'd be a way cooler Pokemon if it was dark though. Definitely just be way cooler. I mean Pupitar is just like he's just like that in between a Tyranitar. Nobody's like, Man, I love Pupitar. He's my favorite. I hate Tyranitar though. Only scrubs use him. Nobody's like Pupitar is the best, dude. Except my friend who had like a level, like a hundred Pupitar, or something like that. I think he told me that. Now I'm gonna actually be going the shortest way, but that still like is littered with trainers. That's really ridiculous. I might choose to cut a couple out, considering how many Shadow Pokemon I might be snagging. Let me uh, check my PDA real fast. I believe it's just the one. Actually, no, there's two. Uh, that's the email stupid snag list. All right. So. Okay, we're missing actually a lot more than I thought. We're missing Remoraid, which can be gotten uh, near Mirror B, since it's a Mirror B peon after all. Sudowoodo Entei. Okay, Suicune. We'll be getting those later in Stantler. Now I need to go hunt down Stantler and Remoraid in this episode. And uh, well, yeah, we should be good. We should be um, up to date with all of our Shadow Pokemon capturing. Let's hurry up and get in another battle. I decided to cut that battle out because the guy really had no interesting Pokemon at all. And it was honestly just a waste of time. Also, this battle's a waste of time. For the exact reasons I said the previous battle was a waste of time. Now, those two battles were actually very uninteresting considering it was just Espeon and uh, Bamfros just one-shotting people over and over again. So, you know, it's really justified that I cut them out. And real quick, we're going to swap out Lumineer real fast for Yggdrasa. And I really hope I get the right elevator, uh, considering I really don't remember which one to take. Nope. This was not the right one. Actually, it might be. Let me investigate real quickly. Let's come down here. Yes, it is, actually. All right. So that's good. Now this trainer I'm actually going to show, because she's kind of tough. And she has pretty cool Pokemon. If I remember correctly, I think she has a Quagsire. So it's kind of funny that you can actually fight a Quagsire versus a Quagsire. And old man's Kecleon. He's like, man, I don't even care, dude. Man, I'm going to bob my head back and forth. Now Kecleon, man, it's so with it. Okay. Now, I was kind of hoping she'd lead with Quagsire. If memory serves me right, she did it last time, but I guess maybe the trainers, like, read what Pokemon you're going to send out and then, like, compensate. Like, they swap their Pokemon around. That's a possibility. I did Magic Coat. Okay. I'm, I'm cool with that. Alrighty. Now, Yggdrasil, come on, one-shot that Kadabra and his paper-thin defenses. Ah, oh, so close, though. You know, people say Bayleaf sucks, but the fact of the matter is nothing can really one-shot it. Yeah. Nobody can one-shot my team. They're that awesome. <laughs> Alright, special defense lowered on Bamforos. That's going to be a problem. Since this person has some special Pokemon. Special attackers. 
I don't know, it's lecture time now. What am I gonna do except swap around who I'm gonna attack? Cacleon, the perfect uncounterable Pokemon! Dang it, man, stink it. <laughs> Should put Sunny Day up, guys. You know, yeah, pretty much, Bayleaf's entire um existence revolves around setting up Sunny Day, considering how. Su <sighs> man, stink a Banfro's guy. So I'm staying critical hit, it's not banned for his fault. Alright, so we're just gonna clean house with Hera Boss. I know it's a cheap tactic, but let's face it, he's the best stinking member of our team. <laughs> or she. No crap, he dug a hole. Good thing I have Earthquake. Whoops, I hit something else. Okay, Earthquake. And you know what, let's just, uh... Let's just charge our Solar Beam, because I feel like it. Alright, Psychic, oh no. Wait, crap, what if Cacleon's faster than Hera Boss? Crud, I didn't even think of that. Eh, I think, yeah, he's fast enough. And if you remember, in Gen 3, if you use Earthquake while someone's using Dig, you get double damage, which would have killed Cleckleon anyways. Or Kecleon. Kek, what the? <laughs> and oh no, your Drass is going to take like two, eight, 2 HP missing. No, and Kid Abra's there. So now she's going to send out, if I remember correctly, her Quagsire and Swillow, and we're going to destroy them. Hopefully she'll switch, um... <laughs> the Quagsire into the spot that I was going to use Solar Beam on. If so, that'd be pretty nice, but I doubt I'll get that lucky. You'll probably hit Swellow, after all. Okay, yep, oh wow, it was correct. I played this game way too much as a little kid. Ugh, it's mostly because of the strategy guide. Now, Hairboss can't do crap to Swellow, but I'm gonna try anyways, because I don't really care. Oh, he flew away, okay. Well, that's cool. Solar Beam, don't miss, don't... Bob Saget. So that means everything this turn is gonna miss. Ah. <sighs> Yeah, you know, my waterfall. No. <laughs> so funny. Okay. The quags are just like my people need me. <laughs> just flies out of there. All right, so let's think logically. Luminia. It's probably no. Ragnarok. Did I teach Ragnarok Blizzard? Either way, he's a good sa s safe switch in. And this time we're gonna hit this stinky quags there with a solar beam. Confound it. This battle's going on for way too long, anyways. He's just scrubs. Why am I fighting them? Well, I don't really know. I feel like, you know, some, t you know, if you edited out every battle in a Pokemon, it'd be the most boring game in the world. What the heck? Battling's a part of the game and the experience. And uh, thanks for giving me health, buddy, with that water absorb. <laughs> and yes, we did teach him Blizzard. No mice flying again. That's a tiny bit annoying. Here comes the Solar Prime. <laughs> that Quagsire didn't stand a chance, man. Not any chance. Alright, so now we just gotta focus all of our attention on the Swellow. Now, I almost guarantee the Swellow. Hey, a bunch of level ups, nice. I almost guarantee that the Swellow is going to attack Yggdrasil, even though I'm pretty sure it won't really matter since I have synthesis. So, whatever, you stupid Swellow. When you come down, you will be pelted with the most severe blizzard you've ever encountered in your life. Man, almost full of health. Crazy. If synthesis had more. Um, PP? Oh my goodness, will that be overpowered? Come on, super effective. Out of there, awesome. <sighs> Thank goodness Swallow does not have very good defenses, and with him, or her, this trainer scrub of Cypher out of the way, nothing can stand away from us. Little boy, you're a toughie? Wasn't I a part of Team Snagum, though? I always I pictured the protagonist of this game to be an adult. I don't know why. Anyway. <laughs> Maybe my overreactive imagination. Now, hair boss, he ain't looking so good. So I'm not gonna bother. I'm not gonna honestly bother reviving Bamphoros here. We're just gonna swap out Lumini and hair boss, cause um I don't know if I pointed this out before, but all three of the colored scrubs, I guess the rainbow scrubs or whatever, have all the same Pokemon, excluding their starter. So we're gonna be fighting Spoink, a uh, Grimer. And something else. It's kind of like the beginning of the game. This guy's trying to make a shadow Pokemon or something. I don't know. Cypher Peon Rosso wants to battle us. And we're going to completely destroy him. Because we have Hair Boss, who's invincible practically. Oh boy, that Grumpig's going to be a problem. Hmm. Depends who goes first. Ah, oh, crap. I should I should have put Hair Boss and then Luminia. Because then I could just one shot the um, Grumpig with Megahorn. But no, I gotta do the glitch the right way. Actually, you know what? You know what? I feel pretty safe. I don't feel like... Um... <laughs> I feel like... I feel very confident that the Megahorn is gonna connect. So I'm gonna put all my money on that one shot. Come on! Uh, 
And yes, we save time since it will not be bouncing and taking down Hero Boss. That was actually a pretty good investment despite the fact that, well, Lumania didn't do anything that turn and just got experience for <laughs> sitting in battle. And oh my, Breloom, that's the first time we've seen one and we're gonna see like three more because this game's really weird like that. And now it's level 30, super effective, cool! Did nothing, okay. So let's capture it now. Since uh, Luminia can actually have a super effective... Wait, no. Use it. Have a super effective hit on Broilum. So there we go. Let's swap it. I'm getting... <laughs> I was recently playing Emerald today, so I'm getting my controls mixed up a little bit. I hit, I hit Z to bring up my um, inventory. Wait, what is Z? Is that a different game? Oh, that's Paper Mario. My mistake. And, uh, you've seen this like nine times. Are we gonna get it? Are we gonna get it? See, like, this is why I like saving most of the snagging for when you have the Master Ball glitch. It takes out the um, random thing, randomness, and how much I have to edit. And just like, you know, like, oh, did I get it this time? Can I take it this time? No. It's like, it's kind of boring. That's honestly, like, the worst thing in a Pokemon LP, in my opinion. It's just like, is he gonna get it this time? Is he gonna get it this time? Yeah, okay, woo. Anyways. So that Breloom was actually in place of like, it's kind of weird how they do the um, Pokemon. It's like, if you have a Breloom, if he doesn't have, um, and you guys probably figured it out. <laughs> You're gonna be joking, the Muck didn't die from that? It's crazy. But um, yeah, so like, um, the other guy had a Sharpedo, you know, you know, so it's like, yeah, it's kind of hard to explain. You guys get it though, you guys get it. Like, ah, see, I want to explain to you, but it's kind of, like, difficult. Like, the water type's a Serapito, the grass type's a Breloom, and I forget what the, gr um, what is it? The fire type is, but, like, all three of the, um, Rainbow Trainers have different types of Pokemon. And yes, that is it. That is the only reason we came here, is to snag that Shadow Quilava, and also the Murkrow we missed. So now that that's done, it's time to technically head to, hmm, what to do next, actually? Very debatable. I guess we're going to spend the remainder of this episode actually backtracking and getting those shadow Pokemon that we missed. But I'm pretty sure we're, we have a, we're prompted to get an email as soon as we exit the shadow Pokemon lab. So I'm going to go ahead and show that off screen. Or on screen, <laughs> not off screen. And I'm going to go capture those shadow Pokemon that we are missing off screen. That's the plan for this episode. And then we'll just have a couple more. And hey, I was right. Let's check our PDA. <laughs> and see what those dumb kids want now. Receive photos. Johnny, did you know? Your PDA can not only receive emails, it can also accept digital photos. I'll send one you as a test. It's a shroomish. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that email is 100% useless, except for the fact it's alluding to something later. But like I said, I'm going to track down those two remaining trainers of the last two Shadow Pokemon that we can get as of now. So be right back. And after a lot, a lot, a lot of battling, we are back in Mirror B's room. Something I did not mention to get back <laughs> to this trainer. You gotta refight everybody you fought before. It is quite the chore. And yes, this is the only lady we need to talk to. We really don't have to talk to the other one. But I have the feeling we're gonna have to batter at, battle her anyways. Man, that was really obnoxious. And the annoying thing is there's no easy way to get back to, uh, to Pyrite Town. Considering last time we were just magically teleported out, so I'm gonna have to walk all the way back. That's not gonna be fun. We did all this, all this work. Like, I literally went through every single trainer again. Like, it was not fun. For Shadow Remoraid. Yeah. Fun, fun game. It's a fun game. No, <laughs> it really is, though. And besides, we need this 200% and get one of the coolest things in Pokemon ever. So, alright, we're just gonna capture the Remoraid without fail, thanks to the Master Bowl. And then we're just gonna just sweep through the rest of our Pokemon, and I really hope we don't have to fight the other lady, because if we do, I'll just have to cut it out, because I really don't feel like fighting her. So, yeah. <laughs> then we're going to actually head to our next location, which will be very interesting. And yes, we only have one. Actually, three? Actually, no, we have a couple. <laughs> We have actually many, many more Shadow Pokemon on to get, but we are almost done. It's crazy. I know. But, man, I'm really going to have to grind my guys up because there's, like, a super boss fight coming up. It's not really, like, a super boss, per se. It's just a really tough battle. And it requires your Pokemon to be roughly, like, level 70, and we're only in the 60s, so that's not going to be good. But, hey, I'll suck it up 
And down goes her love disc, who, well, even after, since the beginning of the game, still sucks. <laughs> and yes, now we have the Shadow Room Raid. Now on to find the Shadow Stantler. I hope it was a good exercise. Yeah, come on, let me leave, let me leave, let me leave, let me leave. No! Duh! Let me leave! Let me, no! Okay, I'm cutting this out. <laughs> and jeez louise, that sure was annoying, and yes, they'll just stay here. It's so obnoxious. Anyways, so it's kind of weird, you can actually go back here, see where Puzzle was. I wish there was like a hole you could just teleport back to Pyrite with, but anyways. When I actually came here to Pyrite, guys, I actually got an email. This is the second time I didn't record me getting an email on screen, but it's gonna read from Bit. Hi, uh, I'm Bit from the Under. There's this freaky rumor going around that Snagum holds a fixed big snag machine. Do you think it's true? Can you go check it? Okay, so basically, <laughs> this is what I was talking about. We have to return back to Snagum Hideout to actually obtain, well, technically for me, three Shadow Pokemon are there. But if you've caught all of them up till now, there will be two new ones that are on the snag list, which are actually, well, you'll find out. So I'm going to cut when we're back at Snagum Hideout since, well, I got a long way to go. Maybe I'll just jump off here and swim there. <laughs> and we have an email the second we back get to Snagum's Hideout. Oh man, these stinking kids won't stop stinking sending me. And hi, bit again. Some jerks, got some shadow Pokemon, get them, okay. So there's a shadow t um, Ursa Ring and a Smurgle now. Now, I was wrong again, since I'm going this based on memory. This is not a shortcut, it's just a short exit. Basically, we have to actually get back where we were, where the Shadow Croconaw was, but we gotta go through trainers again, yeah. If this isn't padding, I don't know what is. Now, we need to be on the lookout, guys. Pretend this is Dora the Explorer. Because there is a hunter with a shadow stantler. Please don't jump. Oh my gosh, every time. I mean, for crying out loud, there must be like a whirlpool up there or something. Goodness, or black hole, or white hole, or lemon. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, we need to find this remaining trainer. But the thing that sucks is there are still trainers that are unavoidable, like this one that we have to fight. I mean, at this point, honestly, I would prefer random encounters, because at least, like, you can run from those. You can't run from these battles. Anyways, let's look inside this chest, see what we got. And hey, some PP up, not bad. We might give those extra to, to, um... I actually can't decide who needs them. And, uh, you're not the lady I'm looking for. We're actually looking for a chaser. And hey, it's that thing from the beginning of the game. And did I talk to that guy? No. I want to get this item box with some max ethers. Who cares about max ethers? Really don't care for those. <laughs> and oh gosh, I've been spotted. Oh my gosh, where's that Stantler lady? This is so obnoxious. Oh, good thing this guy doesn't battle you. Gosh, okay, where's this lady at? Where are you? Okay, I don't think it's him. No. The uh, ga the Snagum guys with the Shadow Pokemon, like this guy, will be forced to battle you. So yes, I believe this is the guy with the ton of Smeargles. Bidden. Bidden. We're like Biden. We're like biding my time with these useless Pokemon that are Smeargles. You know, that's something they should maybe do in, like, the fifth generation Smeargle. Like, when you think about it, it's just... He's one of those Pokemon with so much potential. I'm like, when the heck did I get paralyzed? That's weird. He's one of those Pokemon with so much potential, yet they never did anything with him. It feels like, eh, in my opinion, it feels kind of lame. I know in, like, competitive battling, there's, like, some, like, crazy thing you can do. You can like, sketch him transform and crap like that, which is, like, possible, since, like, you can use sketch in a double battle on your, like, a Mew or something, and, like, you know, he's really good as, like, scouting stuff, and I don't know, I think that's cool, and I think he has a cool little widge he's got himself into, but, like, think of the possibilities, you could give, like, a held item, like, um, stinking, what would it be, uh, hmm, artist, artist, uh, Pamphlet. No, it's not a pamphlet. Canvas. There you go. That's where I'm looking for. Sorry, it's really late. <laughs> and give him like a like a uh, canvas, and then increases his like the uh, moves he learns normally. Actually, he only learns stinking. What's it called? Where am I? Where the heck am I? Stinking? What? Oh, there they are. <laughs> I knew I had some full heels. Anyway, but no, that'd be so see. They could just do so much stuff, and I know they're they're only human. They probably have like a million stupid fan submissions, but mine's the best, darn it! And man, Hariboss just tearing through these guys like nobody's business. Without a doubt, he's probably the most 
<laughs> valuable member of our team, just hands down since we'll... Don't tell him I said this, but Quagsire and Bayleaf kind of stinks. Yeah, and hey, a Shadow one! Well, that's neato. Now, I can get that Pokémon. And he taught every single Smeargle on his team Spore. Wow, that's actually... I do the same thing. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to actually use Hairboss's turn to actually... Uh, oh, dang, I wish he... He put... What's his name to sleep? Here... <laughs> And Bamferos. I have the dumbest nicknames ever. So we actually cannot wake him up this turn. Actually, we can. Huh. Never mind. We're going to use an awakening. You never know when you're going to need an awakening. You know? You know? Now let's throw that snag ball. Ugh, yes. So happy. Ever again, this Shadow Pokemon. You know, I've always liked him. Ugh, see, I, I'm just going back and forth. I've always li liked Smeargle. It's just like, he's so hard to raise, too. That's the other thing. It's like, ugh, whatever. Uh, the camera just clipped through, stinking. Gotta be kidding me. You smeargles are testing my patience. Uh, but no, that's okay. You know, we, we didn't really, really need Hero, Hero Boss to uh, finish off this last filthy, disgusting smeargle. Goodness, and it's tightening its foot. You gotta be kidding me. That's actually a legitimate strategy. Oh, yeah, I forgot you can do that. Never mind. <laughs> By calling your uh, Pokemon, you wake them up. Similar to how you can play the. the uh, the flute, the Poke flute, to wake up your Pokemon in Generation 1. That was pretty neat. And yes, we have conquered the Smeagles. But will Jonathan ever find that stinking Stantler that he needs to complete the Snag List? Tune in for the next episode of Let's Play Pokemon Coliseum to find out. I was gonna knock you out of the paint, you lose your face with Smeagles, but, but I end up receiving the end of the paint. Okay, bye. Or I would be saying bye if it weren't the fact that... On my way to go save, we actually find the trainer that has the Shadow Stantler that I failed to catch. It turns out once you beat the Hunter, the Chaser will take her place, and now you can catch it. Isn't that just dandy? Oh my goodness. Oh my, oh my, oh my goodness, it's so frustrating. <laughs> I think I've fought in so many battles tonight that I, d I, don't even want, I don't even want to touch this game again. But we're so close to the end, so we might as well. And why is Hidewind out here when he is paralyzed? I have no idea. But we're going to be... Nah, I guess we can swap him out. We're going to be using our Master Wall Glitch yet again. I know it kind of takes the fun out of Pokemon, the whole random uh, factor and all. But it's to save you guys time after all, so let's uh, swap that around. <laughs> I'm really hoping I don't waste a Master Ball, but I actually have um, a uh, spare Master Ball, just in case I do. So we're going to use a uh, Drill Peck on Gloom. Hopefully it won't get paralyzed. <laughs> Goodness, that would suck if I did not have a backup Master Ball to uh, trade over. Goodness. Because the last little gauntlet, guys, if you don't got that Master Ball, it's pretty tough. It's pretty tough, man. <laughs> and okay, we have captured the Shadow Stantler. So now I will see you guys in the next episode when we capture one of the last remaining Shadow Pokemon. So, uh, yeah, this is kind of an awkward ending. We're ending mid-battle, but yeah. See ya guys later in the next part. Bye.